Well, Baltimore City has settled with the family of a high school athlete who suffered a fatal on field injury. WJC is live in Northeast Baltimore. Paul Gessler is at Mervo High School today. And Paul spoke with Elijah Gorham's mother today about some of the changes coming as a result of this settlement. Paul. Well, Elijah's death this fall captivated his friends and teammates. Mervo won a state football championship this fall. His legacy continues now with athletic health and safety improvements citywide. He loved the game. And when you have a passion for what you love, you give your all. And that's what he did. Chantra Shaw Wednesday remembers her son, Elijah Gorham. The Mervo High School athlete suffered a head injury during a football game last September. He collapsed on the sideline, was taken to shock trauma, and died three weeks later. Wednesday, Baltimore City's Board of Estimates approved a $345,000 settlement with Gorham's family. Part of it, a series of health and safety enhancements for city schools over the next three years. But just because you're on a sideline, that doesn't mean you have the proper training. Among the changes, increased ambulance service at games. Shaw says it took an hour to transport Elijah to the hospital. You don't want to um, waste any time. At all. The settlement also calls for more high school athletic trainers and safety training for coaches and athletes. Training Elijah's parents will have the opportunity to be part of. I don't want them to stop playing um, a game that they love, but I also want them to continue to play safely and also uh, be aware of their teammates as well. Now, the health and safety improvements, including hiring a director of athletic safety to oversee athletic trainers, is subject to budget approval for, uh, at city schools. Gorham was 17 years old. Reporting live at 4.30 tonight outside Mervo High School in Northeast Baltimore, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.